We now get on to the upstream sector. The future oil exploration in the country could face some financing challenges in the future. It's coming, it's coming on the back of renewed pressure on banks to cut lending to firms operating in the oil exploration space. George Riafi has more. It first started from shareholders of these firms that is putting pressure on them to cut carbon dioxide emissions as part of the Green Revolution, climate change and global warming campaign. It is believed that this is one of the reasons why oil exploration giant ExxonMobil had to abandon its works in Ghana due to concerns from its shareholders. But it has moved from just moral switching to some governments around the world like the UK now asking for clarity to cut lending to these areas and channel funding to green initiatives. There's even a 2030 to 2050 deadline being considered now. Indeed, it costs million Indeed, it cost millions of dollars to carry out these initial works to establish the commercial viability of some of these oil deposits. So if these investors and governments around the world should have their way, exploration works in the future in Ghana could struggle to raise the required funding, a development that may put a lot of pressure on Ghana when it comes to funding some of these works. Some have argued that it might be the right time to put in place the required incentives that would help these firms in Ghana fast track That was George Affis report.